Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy, and in today's video, I'm bring you guys my playoff predictions for the 2020 to 2021 NFL season. I'm going to be discussing all of my picks from the wild card round all the way until the Super Bowl and tell you who is going to be bringing home that Lombardi trophy in my opinion. Now, before I get deep into this video, I want to ask if that at any point inside this video you end up enjoying and you play fantasy football, you like NFL content, to please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because I post a whole lot of content for your guys' enjoyment. So let's get into it. We are going to begin with the AFC. Now, I don't understand who the clown is that makes the NFL schedule, but why is the Ravens versus Titans game not the premier game at nighttime? It's being played at 1 o'clock. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is the premier matchup that we saw last season, a potential revenge game for the Baltimore Ravens. Obviously, in case you guys don't know, I guess it would be important to note that the Kansas City Chiefs have a bye for the AFC at the number one seed, and the NFC's number one seed is the Green Bay Packers. So we begin with the AFC, the Ravens versus the Lee Titans. Now, I personally think that this is going to be a very interesting game, basically because of what happened last year, because the Ravens were that top contender. You thought this was going to be a game where the Ravens just wiped the fucking floor with the Tennessee Titans. I thought the Titans stood no chance, and boy was I and everyone wrong. After the Titans go ahead and beat the New England Deflatriots, they smack up the Baltimore Ravens. Will that end up happening again, or will this be a closer game? In my opinion, this is my premier game of the wild card round. If I could watch just one game, it would be this game because I could see this game really going either way and I could see whatever team ends up winning this game going all the way until the AFC Championship game just due to the fact that I think that third part of the bracket will move them that far into the playoffs. So in my opinion, I think this one's going to look a little different than last time and the Baltimore Ravens end up winning. I say this because a lot of the pressure now is gone from the Baltimore Ravens. They're not this team that is a head honcho team going into the playoffs, the number one seed, the number two seed. They're not even a top four seed. They didn't even win their own division. So they're not going into this riding real high. They had the underdog mentality. It was hard for them to get into the playoffs and they ended up fighting their way back into the playoffs. The Titans have been coasting and they've been playing very, very well this season, and I'm not trying to undermine the Tennessee Titans or Tennessee Titans fans, because again, I think this game could go either way, but I just think the Baltimore Ravens defense will step up here. They're not going to get stiff-armed by fucking Derrick Henry, who put that man on a t-shirt, literally, because there's pictures of that guy getting stiff-armed by Derrick Henry. I see it every single day on Twitter. That's how famous that picture is. I just don't think it's going to happen again. I think Tennessee Titans get shut down in this matchup. I think it's going to be close, but I think ultimately the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson get the monkey off their back of Lamar finally winning a playoff game in his NFL career. I think the Ravens beat the Tennessee Titans here in what is technically an upset because the five seed versus the four seed, but in reality, those games are always close. Now we're going to go to the NFC side of the bracket. The first game Buccaneers versus the Washington football team now congratulations to the Washington football team for beating out the Philadelphia Eagles when the Philadelphia Eagles benched Jalen Hurts and went to Nate Sudfield all in all an amazing season out of Ron Rivera and I'm not going to go ahead and discredit the Washington football team because going from Dwayne Trashcan Haskins and having the revitalization of Alex Smith's career was an amazing story arc for a fucking movie but the NFL is not a movie it is not a movie Ron Rivera beats cancer all these things go the right way for the Washington football team and I'm not discriminating against Ron Rivera I fucking love Ron Rivera that's amazing what he did it's amazing what Alex Smith did but if you think Tampa Bay Tom Brady is going to lose to the fucking Washington football team, you need to give your head a shake. The Washington football team is going to get pounded in this matchup. Dirty, dicked, pounded without the use of any lube. The football team's defense is good, but the offense will not be able to keep up with a superior Washington or with a superior Tampa Bay defense, even though their defense technically is superior because the Washington football team's defense is very good, but the superior offense in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I just don't see a way that the, the Bucs lose this game. In reality, I feel the most confident out of this game, out of all of them. I think this is a complete and utter rout of the Washington football team, and I love the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tampa Bay Tom Brady in this spot. Now back to the AFC. We got the Browns versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now obviously it's a great story. The Cleveland Browns end up making the fucking playoffs after I don't even know how long it's been. I don't think the Browns have made it in my lifetime. 
and I'm 21 years old. That's just how bad of a franchise they were. If you remember a couple years ago, Baker beat the fucking New York football Jets, and they brought out a bunch of beer in celebration of winning a game. And that game was up against the Jets. That's just how bad of an organization they were. They get their playoff spot here in a back-to-back spot up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers literally almost won last week with Mason Rudolph. How do the Browns stand a chance? I really, I think the Steelers are a fraudulent team. I really didn't think the Steelers were even going to win a playoff game. But knowing this is up against the Browns, knowing the Browns could have easily manhandled the Steelers last week and just coached themselves into a fucking ball because they weren't running the ball enough. Running was what was winning that game. Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt are the one-two punch this offense needs. But for some reason, they just were not using it. Now, if they figure out that they can run the ball on the Steelers, then maybe they can win the game. But all in all, I think that Big Ben advances to the next round of the playoffs and slays the Cleveland Browns on their first playoff appearance in who knows how long. Now, the NFC matchup. We got the Rams versus the Seattle Seahawks, two teams that are know each other pretty well. They faced off a couple of weeks ago, and Seattle rolled the Rams, but that was without Jared Goff. The Jared goff list Rams, or actually that was with Jared Goff, but... It wasn't really Jared Goff because the guy's fucking thumb got popped back into his hand. He wasn't really playing well. Do they have Goff in this game or is it John Wolford again? To me, it does not really matter. I think the Rams defense is pretty good, but it is just not going to be the year for the LA Rams. I think the Seattle Seahawks offense is just far too good to lose this game. The only way that the Seahawks get caught in this one is from one of those games where Russ simply just cannot get it cooking. He can't turn on the fucking stove, and he plays bad. We've seen it happen this season. I don't think it happens here against the Rams. I think the Seattle Seahawks slay the Rams here. Not really easily because the Rams' defense is good, but it is definitely going to be a game that I feel very confident about. Now back to the AFC. We got the two versus seven, the Buffalo Bills versus the Indianapolis Colts. The Buffalo Bills just butt-fucked my Miami Dolphins into pieces. Josh Allen, Matt Barkley, they could have rolled out Sean McDermott as the quarterback and the Dolphins would have gotten spanked. This was like a Fifty Shades of Grey film-esque degrading of my Miami Dolphins. The Bills will roll the Colts. The Colts are not very good in my opinion. Phillip Rivers is a choke artist. When the game becomes big, Phillip Rivers becomes little. He needs that Viagra, unlike in the bedroom, because this guy has 11 kids. I think his 11 kids are going to be crying after this one because the Buffalo Bills destroy the Indianapolis Colts. Next game here, we got the final NFC game of the Wild Card Weekend, the Bears versus the New Orleans Saints. Now, obviously, this is according to the media, Drew Brees' last ride. The final hoorah for Drew Brees' career. Is that true? Is it not? I don't know. Last year, it seemed like Drew Brees was going to retire, and then they convinced him. They crawled him back into playing another season. Was it worth it? Will it be worth it is the question. But up against the Chicago Bears, I just don't think Matt Nagy and friends will be good enough to win this game up against the New Orleans Saints. It doesn't seem to matter who the quarterback is for the Saints. All they do is win, 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 no matter what. And I think that Drew Brees advances into the second round. Why is that? Because he's not playing up against the Minnesota Vikings And if they were, I would have picked the Minnesota Vikings. Now into the divisional round of the playoffs. Now we're back to two games apiece for each day. The AFC begins with the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Buffalo Bills. Again, if you guys have ended up enjoying thus far this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. The Steelers get the Buffalo Bills. This is going to be a game that gets heavily talked up because the Steelers will just inch out the Browns. The Bills will have rolled the Indianapolis Colts, and people are going to talk about how the Steelers' defense is more superior and that the Buffalo Bills will have a tough time in this game. And let me tell you, if this is what I believe to be the Buffalo Bills versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, Josh Allen will yet again be too strong, too better of an arm, too better of rushing ability, too better. I don't even think that makes real sense. But he's just much better than this Steelers' offense. The defense while isn't as good as the Steelers, will compete with the Steelers, and the Bills will win this game. And again, all this is coming from me, a Miami Dolphins fan. I think the Bills are the real deal, and I think they beat these fraudulent Steelers here handily. Handily. Next game here for the NFC, we got the three versus two, the Saints versus the Seattle Seahawks. Do 
Drew Brees and friends get caught here and lose to the Seattle Seahawks? Or are the Seattle Seahawks and their offense going to be potent enough to play well against the Saints? Now, to me, this game all comes down to the defense. Does the Saints defense really bear down here and look like the Saints have looked at some points in the season? We've seen the Saints defense look legit, and then we've seen the Saints defense just take a fucking nap like they're on a tempur mattress up against the Eagles. Now, Seahawks offense much better than the Eagles, but the Saints defense has shut down better teams than the Seahawks. So it's really going to come down to defense as well for the Seattle side. Does Jamal Adams and friends wake up for Seattle or wake up for this game up against the Saints, or do they just get rolled in New Orleans? In my opinion, this is going to be a very interesting game, and I do think that in the end, Drew Brees gets sent home packing yet again. Drew Brees is just not that great in the playoffs, if I'm being completely honest with you. Is that because he's been getting fucking butt-fucked by the Vikings recently? Maybe that's it, but at the end of the day, I think the Saints end up beating the new, or the Seattle Seahawks ends up beating the New Orleans Saints in the 3 versus 2 matchup for the NFC. For the AFC, the 5 versus 1 here, we have the Baltimore Ravens versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, the Ravens have finally got the monkey off the back. We just talked about it. The Ravens have fucking won a playoff game. They beat the Titans, and now it's go time. You're playing up against the Kansas City Chiefs, and just like every time these two teams play, the Chiefs win. Without a doubt, coming off of a bye, they're ready to roll up against the Ravens or the Titans. This is going to be a route. The Chiefs are, in my opinion, the best team in the NFL. They may win back-to-back championships. We'll see pretty soon. I think the Chiefs roll the Ravens. The Ravens just do not stand up tall. They just don't get hard. They're not Viagra hard. They're just fucking soft as fuck, and they're not going to be able to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. I like the Chiefs here in this game, but again, it probably will end up being close. And the final game of the divisional round, we got the Buccaneers versus the Green Bay Packers. Now, this is the one of beauty. We've got who some consider the best quarterback of all time in Aaron Rodgers. I'm not saying he is. I personally think the other guy is, Tom Brady. Does Tom Brady be able to get back to a championship game in his first year on a new team? Or does he falter and lose to the Green Bay Packers? To me, this is going to be a game that is going to be decided by if the Buccaneers are going to be able to run the ball or if the Packers can stop that kind of like they did to Derrick Henry a couple weeks ago. And maybe we see the Packers just roll the Buccaneers. Maybe we see that, and if I'm going to be honest with you, I think the Packers take this one up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I'm never going to count Tom Brady out of winning a Super Bowl because for any means necessary, this guy could easily roll the fucking table, snort it up like it's a fucking line of that booger sugar, and beat the Green Bay Packers. But the Packers have that bye, and they're going to go ahead, in my opinion, and advance to the next round of the playoffs. Now, the next round here, we got the conference game, the AFC Championship game, and the NFC Championship game. We're going to start here with the AFC, the Bills, versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Again, if you guys see anything different, you're like, you know what, Nick, you're a dumbass. I like this team better. I think this team's going to win the game. Then go ahead and tell me, because I'd love to have a nice discussion down below in the comments. I always do. I always answer the comments, so please make sure that you leave them. The Buffalo Bills versus the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead Stadium. In my opinion, the Buffalo Bills are the only team that could dethrone the Kansas City Chiefs on their way to the uh, Super Bowl. If any other team plays up against the Chiefs, in my opinion, the Chiefs dog these motherfuckers. I'm talking about a beatdown. But up against the Buffalo Bills, this one's going to be close. I project that the Buffalo Bills get up by a zillion early, and just like the Chiefs playoffs games last year, they're going to have to crawl back. That's what the Chiefs did all of the playoffs last time, and if they get caught doing that again this season, the Bills may be able to actually outgunsling them, outplay them. And I actually think it's going to happen here. I really do. Now, the first time these two teams played this season, I believe the Buffalo Bills lost. And that is true. The Kansas City Chiefs ended up defeating the Buffalo Bills early on in the season, 26-17. That was off that Corona week where they were playing on, like, Monday, 
night. It was the there was like two Monday night games that week. It was very weird for the Buffalo Bills, and they ended up losing that game to the Kansas City Chiefs. But now we're looking at a different Buffalo Bills squad. This team is riding higher than Elon Musk, higher than Snoop Dogg on confidence, in my opinion, based upon how they've played recently. They beat the ever living shit out of the Dolphins, and they were literally playing Matt Barkley at the end of the game. And Matt Barkley was throwing it on a dime like he wasn't even trying, like Trace McSorley. And I think the Bills upset the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, the safe pick here is say the Chiefs go ahead and win the fucking Super Bowl again. Would that surprise me? No, because the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes are a legitimate fucking dynasty, in my opinion, in the NFL. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and select the no one circles the wagons, like the Buffalo Bills to advance out of the AFC into the Super Bowl. Now, who are they going to go up against in the Super Bowl? Will it be the Seattle Seahawks or will it be the Green Bay Packers? Now, if I'm being honest with you, this game is going to be uh, this one's going to be talked about as a gunslinging matchup, and it very well could be. But I think the Packers' defense is going to be what wins them the game. The Seattle defense has to wake the fuck up and play like the 12th man of 2013 with Richard Sherman. That's what they need to win these games, and that is not what is going to happen. Defenses win championships, and in my opinion, the Seattle Seahawks defense is not very good, and I think the Green Bay Packers beat them here to move on to the Super Bowl, and that Super Bowl, obviously, is going to be between the no one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills up against the Green Bay Packers in Tampa Bay. Now, how interesting would it have been if the Bills were playing up against Tom Brady in Tampa Bay? Would have been interesting, but that's not the timeline my brain lives in. My timeline that my brain lives in is the Buffalo Bills, the number two seed out of the AFC, plays the Green Bay Packers, and I think the Bills are going to win the fucking Super Bowl. The team of destiny. Everyone doubted Josh Allen. They, they were saying this motherfucker was not shit. He could not contain the cannon of his arm. I was not one of those player people. Even in my AFC East, I love the Bills and I love Josh Allen. I really think that this team is going to win this season. This is going to be a very good Super Bowl. It's out in Tampa Bay. I think this is going to be a good game, but I think the Bills ultimately beat the Green Bay Packers and crown themselves as the Lombardi Trophy winners and the champions of Super Bowl number 50, whatever this Super Bowl is. So I hope you guys ended up enjoying this video. Let me know if you guys think the Bills get fucking rolled here. Let me know if I'm just a complete and utter numb skull dipshit or something. Maybe that's what you guys think I am. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the nice old, nice old uh, whatever it's called, the nice uh, bracket here on the screen for you guys. So again, to reiterate, the Ravens take on the Titans. The Ravens upset them. Then the Colts against the Bills. The Bills win. Browns versus Steelers. Steelers. Bears versus Saints. The Saints take them on and win. Seattle versus Rams. Seattle wins that game. Buccaneers versus football team. Buccaneers win that game. The Bucks play the Packers. The Packers beat the Bucks. Seattle plays the Saints. The Seattle Seahawks beat the Saints. Steelers play the Bills. The Bills roll the Steelers. Uh, the Chiefs play the Ravens. The Chiefs win yet again. The Chiefs play the Buffalo Bills. The Bills win in a very interesting game. Seattle for to make the Super Bowl versus the Green Bay Packers. The Packers win. The Packers play the Bills in the Super Bowl, and no one circles the wagons like the fucking Buffalo Bills. Take it home. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did end up enjoying it at any point, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know if I'm a fucking dumbass and you hated all these picks. I love to hear it. I love you all. Have a great rest of your guys' day. Happy New Year. Next year is going to be even greater than this year. I love you all, as always. Good boy.